and I'm doing it for my daughter. Well, when I get a watch, it's going right over the sleeve. It's yep. gotta. It's gotta. Like you know, a watch I've seen that I think is a. I think would look good on Charles. <laughs> What's that? The tag Monaco. What is Let's it? Take a look. It's the square. I, I've one. been meaning to ask about the other accoutrements that I should be desirous of. I think it's a piece of shit. Oh. Uh, but it's it does look it does have it a does Charles have a good look, look to it. Yeah, it does. Oh, dang. like that's a Charles. You know those jackets like you wear. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. the racing stripes. Yeah, the Euro. What's that? Uh, I the like that. Euro GT tag Monaco. Oh, Steve McQueen used to wear that. Oh, that's a big Steve one. Steve McQueen. Oh, it is big boy. Tag Monaco. Maybe it's not bad if Steve McQueen was wearing it. Holy shit, he had the same one. Yeah. How much does it go for? Like 80 grand? They're cheap. No, no those are cheap. Like 300? No, nah, probably actually announced. Yeah. Wow, look at they got you. What, what, 30, ha what 3, happened? 3,500, 3,000. What 4, happened? That watch was not that much when it was new. Holy shit. That's that price is fucking. Yeah, that's, that's, not, crazy. The, that's not the real price. I like to see the street price. Do the 7,800 one. I'll sign in. <clears throat> <laughs> Charles, get ready. We're ready. <laughs> Three, six, five, out. seven, two, six. You're putting your name. Calling yeah. the bank. Uh, yeah, there's a payment that's blocked to eBay. I'd like <laughs> you to let it let it through. <laughs> so seventy eight hundred. Yeah. Plus, oh, it is shipping. Okay, uh, cancel then. <laughs> they can't even throw in fucking free shipping. Forget it. It's unbelievable yeah. when you see shit like that. But that's the one. That's the I one think, I should get. That I think. A, I think a Daytona. If you if you make. Uh, if we ever hit the big time, I think Daytona would be the one for you. What's is that like Daytona USA? That's the arcade Daytona's game? the Paul oh. Newman. Type in oh. type in Rolex Daytona. I always like Paul. What did he do? He did so much it would blow your mind. The he best the best is type uh, in Rolex Daytona the color of money in the verdict, I think is his best. What's a lemon? Lemon. Ooh. It's the dial that's Whoa. not quite gold. Oh that's wow, kind of that's, that's cool. kind of a Charles. I yeah. love that. Type vibe right there. How much there. do you get that? It's also a Sam type vibe though, so I might need to get this too. I think that's that's probably eighty. Sam, that's the one. If that's probably eighty, but that's I think oh. that's a, I think that's a vintage only though. And the thing about vintage is the bands are going to be loose and they're not going to feel mm. they're not going to feel you know tight. So Oyster band Daytona and the Tag Hauer or whatever the hell that was. Chrono, Chrono, Chrono Tag, uh, Tag Hoyer. Um, Hoyer. Yeah, lemon mm. dial lemon dial for oh, fifty seven. It says seven seventy grand right there. You can, then you can rebit you can reband it. Where's that? Right there. That seventy. That one. Yeah. That that's not. Uh, is that gold that's or is a that steel? That's a. It's a steel. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's a steel. Yeah, you want gold. You don't want fucking steel. That one's a bit nice. Yeah. Mm. Thirty nine thousand for a black and gold Daytona yellow gold. No, it's the champagne. I don't want the champagne. I want the lemon. How much is just the dial? Whoa, it's eighteen thousand for just the dial. <clears throat> <clears throat> Shit. Well, those are the two pieces. I'll wear them both at the same time. Or maybe I'm both on one <laughs> one, on, one on each arm. Like sometimes I'm beating my. And I need the arm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does anyone know what time it is? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done that. Does anyone need mean. the time? <laughs> well, there's so I mean, there's so many ways to like just make a stupid move. I think I do like the. There's some of them that I like that I would, the Royal Oak. There's some that I would pay m the money for, but there's so many that are just junk. And a AP does AP does the thing where there's like a new custom version every day. Yeah, like, this is the this is the. Um, who's the there red the red haired pop star guy? Macklemore. I mean, they probably oh, did. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, but they probably did do a Macklemore version. Yeah, like AP comes out every weekend. This is the all red ceramic Macklemore. Like making also like making a luxury the the new thing, which is like rubber straps. Yeah, I hate rubber that. straps and ceramic. Those are not that's that's not luxury materials. That's straight up Chinese. Yeah, rubber strap. My buddy uh, who's a watch guy is like, oh, rubber strap. I'm like, dude, if I saw rubber, that's like a, the new blue puffy vest. Yeah, wear a metal strap like a man. Yeah. Have you ever seen? Have you seen um, Floyd Mayweather's watch collection? No. Is it all fucking he's iced out Hublot? He's really he's really so stupid that it's it's, it's kind of fucking really awesome. His purchases are nuts. Yeah, so. Um, those those watches, you know, the bust down watches. When you cover them in diamonds, you you actually lower the value because you're carving away at the the authentic watch, like mm -hmm. cutting holes in it, in a way that's not like factory authentic. You're like cutting yeah. holes in the thing and then putting whatever shitty diamonds from your shitty jeweler in there. So he's done that. He has all these super expensive, nice watches that are that are bust down, like ghetto, blinged out. And he's like, I know you're not supposed to do this, but I like to shine. I just want to shine. Oof. It's really, it's really funny. Look at that monstrosity. Like that the TNT. money team Hublot. Yeah. He's, there's a really funny video of him walking out of a Rolex um, boutique. Mm -hmm. And he, he remembers, as the media is interviewing him, he remembers that he's a, he's a paid Hublot representative. 
So he's coming out of the Rolex boutique and they're like, Floyd, Floyd, what'd you get? He's like, yeah, I just got this brand new Rolex, whatever, Yacht Master 2, this thing's fire. Hey, yo, peace. And then he, go, he comes back and he goes, but actually, I, f Hublo, I forgot that Hublot was actually the pr premier brand is the best watch you can buy is Hublot. So that's nice too. <laughs> the cameraman must have dropped his camera and left. <laughs> can you go to YouTube and search for that? Actually, no, my daughter. Down. All right, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, the first one. Top, yeah. Hublo is the you best. You have to check out this video. It's completely hilarious. Oh, for so fuck's Floyd sake. Merrill just bought this beautiful yellow gold Rolex day date. But nice. then he says this. Even though I got on this Rolex right here, uh, Hublo is the best in the world, hands down. <laughs> he said, hands down. Have you ever been this confused in your you entire life? How awesome yeah, is that? That is awesome, though. I, is, I, would, I would like to be in that position. I'm jealous as shit to be like, oh, yeah, by the way, is, fuck His Rolex. life is probably super funny, man. He should have taken the Rolex off and thrown it. <laughs> 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 Factory diamond dial and bezel, 56,000. Man, these things are not... People have moved on from the, the uh, yes. day date. I think, it's, I think people think it's dated. It is. It's not the watch right now anymore. It's going to come. That's the, that's the watch for me, man. That's Vukum, what I Vukum want. said, uh, watch out for these specifically. Who? Vukum. In a good way or in a bad in way? In a bad way. <clears throat> because oh. there's so fucking many of them. Really? Yeah, yeah. They're going to come down steep. Huh. They put a lot of these out in the street, man. Don't let fucking Rolex rarity fool you. Like, they pump. They say, oh, no. Yeah, okay, dude. Huh. Rolex ran at, like, let's just say... 10 units a month per store. They scroll down. They pumped up for like two years to like 20 units a store. And they did some sneaky sneakies. Mm, yeah, I'm, still, shit. I'm still getting it. It is the dopest why I do. J Jake has one. I know, I know that it's, I do know that it's dated though. And it's also like the, wa the watch game has moved well past That's this, bad. this, uh, this design. And I don't care. I think, I think all the new stuff is tacky. I think it's fucking a monstrosity. Oh, I think, I think it's monstrosity. so ugly. Garbage ass shit. The, the thing, the thing about Rolex is that the, um, the dial is all the dials are always better yeah and there's like if you look at a um like an ap they got the the mega tapisserie tapisserie dial or the the regular tapisserie dial it's uh there there are thing there are things where there's like shit is off center yeah and and, like, and there's there's certain things like there's um things that i wouldn't let fly in a graphic these things called tangents which a tangent is where in in geometry a tangents where like a, a line and another Two shapes intersect. Inter inter interact, yeah. yeah. So in, in design terms, a tangent is where you have a uh, the appearance of an, or not the appearance, but an unintentional interaction between two shapes. And it's something that if you start looking for it in designs that other people make, it'll drive you crazy because people just don't pay attention to this kind of thing. But look up, um, can, you go, can you look up uh, AP Brick? And this is, this is a watch that I want, first of all, and go to images. I saw some, before you say it, not the AP. The, what were you just like? Patek Philippe. Yeah. Is it where like the background had like waves, right? Mm -hmm. And then there was like a circle track around it. And then where the down slope of the way, like basically where the cut on the geometry is like off. Mm -hmm. And you're like, like see right where the five is on that watch. Yep. Like right above the five to the left. Yep. That shouldn't be allowed. Mm -hmm. And then with the AP is, it looks like a non, it, it's, it's, it is, it's asymmetric, like the 11 and the one. Mm -hmm. Like right where the eleven is in the one that, that that top shadow on the on the three dimensional figure in the background, mm -hmm. or the like that shit. Yep, like that that bo that would bother me. That is what bothers me. Yeah, um, and this is this is a watch that I want, so it's not like I'm I'm not just here. Click this one right here. It's more it's a little more obvious when the the uh, sub dials are black. It's just if you if you sort of squint and when you when you um, if you look if you focus your eyes on something you get you get the same tunnel vision. That motorcyclists and um, snipers try to avoid tunnel vision, right? Like if you look at it holistically, if you squint your eyes and you unfocus them, and you just look at the, you just let the sh the shapes sort of resolve in your peripheral vision, it it really becomes glaringly obvious that these three sub dials they're not like evenly distributed, right? Yeah. Like this this should be higher. I don't even know if the fucking it's not the weight of the seven is. Is, is different than all the other numbers. The visual, the visual, yeah, I, what the fuck? The visual weight of everything on this dial is weird. Yeah, the eight's fucked up, bothering me. Mm -hmm. The four placement to the two is off, just a hair, the two this, to four. This little fucking chunk right here yeah. is so strange. And then the, like, the collegiate typeface that the numbers use mm. versus yeah. the very small, super fine, elegant Audemars Piguet. Like, they should have just, they should have just done the AP and not done the words, right? 
But like these these words that are so fine and so small, and they it just looks very out of place and disjointed. And I'm not. This is. I mean, I'm going to buy this one day. This is a. This is one of the on the list here. But it's just uh, everything's like this. Ro Rolex doesn't have that. Yeah, they're I think they're too classic. Any Rolex, any Rolex style is pretty much perfect if you look at it. Even even on the ones like I don't like, I don't like the Yacht Master. No, right. I don't like it. But it's symmetrical. But it's per every the the, the um, visual composition is perfect. They don't they don't fuck around. They don't play this. They're not fucking. They're not fucking doing this shit. They don't have this shithead arranged dumping, dumping ingredients in. We can put this thing, and no one even knows what any of those. No one in the world knows what any of those do. Mm -hmm. There's not one person that can tell you what any of those my daughter. dials. So that's what I. That's why I like, specifically why I like Rolex is I think the dials are the most um, refined, just because they're they're probably the most. Well, no, they're not the most conservative. I mean, Patek Patek is more conservative, but Patek is not as. Uh, they're expensive, aren't they? Pateks are very expensive, and they're I guess they're the top of the they're top of the heap as far as this, the the three big. The three big big manufacturers, like not not independent. Brayling, Tag Heuer, and and uh, Swatch, and and Swatch and uh, Hublot. <laughs> yeah, those are the four kings. Then below that is AP, uh, Rolex, AP, and then Patek. Uh huh. Underneath Breitling, Vacheron, Constantine. Vacheron, Constant. I think Vacheron. I think people. I think Vacheron's a respected name. I don't. I don't think there's one designer there's that I like. But um, Tissot. But Pat Patek doesn't have um. Patek's their their designs are not, uh, they're not quintessential in the way that roll. Like what I what I mean by that is, if you the the I wish Chris was here to fucking get the images going. The the day date, if you th if you close your eyes and you think gold wristwatch, yes, like Looney Tunes cartoon, like from when you were a little kid. What's a gold wristwatch? It's that day date. Yeah, it's the most classic. It looks good. Classic never really loses. When you go nuts, this stuff goes out of style like the fucking Dickens. Yeah, this is this is not a cool. Like if you showed up to a watch gathering with an AP brick, you'd be, you'd be like, oh, see, that's that guy. Can you look up all gold day date thirty six? The old Kennedy. Yeah. yeah. Like that's that's it yeah, right there. That's you cool. know. And there's nothing. Um, it's like an engineering thing where there's nothing you can add or subtract to it to make it. Um, I mean, this is this might be. A, I think this is a new. This is a new one because it has the crown in between Swiss made, but whatever. It's the same, same deal. Can you go to pet, uh, type? Just type in Patek Philippe in the search bar. Like Patek Patek watches, they're elegant, they're beautiful, what have you. But there's no there's no Patek design where it's like that's the one for yeah. forever. It looks like an Indian doctor's watch. You know what I mean? Yeah, it looks like a Patel Philippe. Yeah, it should be called Patel Philippe. Yeah, and I do I do want to get the fifty nine ninety eventually, but. Um, None, none of these are like the none of these are like a, a stingray corvette in that sense of like being like i would you know we would never drive a stingray I, corvette but it is i gotta show you things i i feel like if you got onto have you seen like uh like boats like i have one i have one nice watch you've got night you've got a nice watch i don't have a nice watch Oh, you don't have like a no something you no. I'm gonna when, once the once the money's there, I'm gonna get that day date, but I don't have anything. But like, I think I honestly think that once you get that day date, you'll be done for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm not gonna be fucking around. I'm, you you're know, not gonna be like buying the other ones. I feel like with watches specifically, for if you're a normal guy, like your head, like this stuff's cool. Don't get me wrong, but like, what other one are you gonna get? I just yeah. think like when you look, at I'm gonna your go money, nuts. I'll be a psycho. Oh, and waste it all. Oh, I'll show you. No, I'll show you a boat. Yeah, uh, there's just other like there's planes. There's boats. Mm -hmm. There's not enough time for three watches. I think I'm going to do three watches and no planes or boats. Fuck. 